gonna sell supercars here today in Brookhaven. So we're gonna get started. So first of all, I gotta make my own dealership. So we gotta find a house that is suitable for a car dealership. And you know what? I think I'm going for this house right here because it got a lot of parking space, which is gonna help me a lot because I am basically gonna showcase supercars and stuff like that and basically try and sell them to Brookhaven's richest people. So we got the house up now. I was gonna customize it a little bit, make it look like a nice friendly dealership. So let's gonna type in car dealer. That should be good. Or maybe car dealership. Perfect. Let's go have that in red, maybe. Yeah, because that will really grab your attention, dude. Perfect. And now we need a supercar. So that's going to import a supercar real quick. So we can actually start and sell uh, the supercars here in Brookhaven and get rich. Okay, we just supported a pretty cool supercar. I would say this is supercar or is it a luxury car? I would say supercar, dude, because it's super cool. <laughs> dude, is that a bad joke? I don't know, man. I thought it was funny. But anyways, that's going to let everybody know that I am selling supercars. Everybody, I'm selling a supercar at house 14. Hopefully, somebody will show up and buy this car because I need to make my money. And, dude, I think this color is actually really cool. And is that a potential customer on the police bike there? Howdy, sir. How's it going, my man? And, yeah, he kind of seems interested in just stop this police bike. Or is he here to bust up my business? I have no clue. Hopefully, it's not just going to bust up my business because I'm just trying to make money. I'm a retired bike police and I need a car. Oh, so you're, you're the physical retired bike police or a police officer? <laughs> dude, is he? a bike? I don't know. Well, this is the car for you, sir. I promise you that, man. It got a low mileage. It got a good trunk space. If you want to fit, like, a bike in the back or something like that, I don't know. Very cool color on it. Yeah, I know, right? It looks minty. It looks fresh. It's really, really cool. Can I test drive it? Yes, of course. If you're gonna pay big bucks for a car, of course you gotta test drive it. Okay, so there we go. I think we're going out for a little test drive right here and hopefully this gentleman right here is gonna drive it nice and peaceful because he hasn't really bought it yet. Yet. So I was gonna see. We're taking it out for a spin, dude. Woo! Let's go to rock the town, boy. Okay, so where are you? Where is it going now, dude? Oh, man. Oh, man. Dude, did it just crash, dude? I think it messed up the pay right there. That's not cool at all. Yo, you know what? Take it easy. Take it easy, man. This is fast. Yeah, I know, right? But take it easy, dude. You're scratching up the pay, man. Come on. You can't be doing that if you have a body yet. Dude, this guy is really driving it like he stole it. It's crazy. Okay, we're back over here at the dealership. Maybe we can negotiate a little deal on this car and hopefully I'll be able to move it and sell it. I'll take it. Ah, super dude. That will be $300,000 for the awesome car right here. And is somebody trying to steal the vehicle? Th I think somebody tried to steal the vehicle, but we just sold it. Okay, congratulations, man. Congratulations. Enjoy your new supercar. Okay, so there we go. It's pulling out of the dealership and boom, dude, there it went. Okay, let's just go to store the money inside of the dealership real quick. And I know, I know, this dealership kind of looks like a house, but I promise you guys, it's a dealership. Here I I sit and I work, you know, this is where I kind of like import uh, vehicles. I just go on the interwebs and I just search for cool cars and cool cars just shows up in my driveway. So let's gonna order yet another car. I'm selling a car, selling a car, house 14, supercar. Okay, so hopefully somebody will actually buy it. And bro, this person is just wandering around with a lot of money. Yo, person, do you maybe want to buy a car? Okay, so hopefully this person will actually buy a car. Not really sure. She's kind of like throwing cash in the air and hopefully she's rich and wants to buy a supercar because this is a pretty cool car. We got this in orange. It looks pretty fast, to be honest. You got the spoiler. You got the double exhaust in the back. And, bro, why is this person just throwing money in there? Is she trying to tempt it with the cash? That's so annoying. And, bro, we got an ice cream truck here. Hey, dude, what's up? You just kind of parked in my garage here. Want ice cream? Yeah, sure. I'll take an ice cream. Do you maybe want a car? I'm actually selling this car, sir. So, if you want the car, you can have it. Oh, dude, he actually gave me an ice cream. That's so cool. And, bro, look at that. He got one eye. That's so cool. Can I get the car if I gave it long? Lots of ice cream? Well, it can kind of work. You can give me lots of ice cream and then you can maybe give me some cash as well because I can't only get this paid in ice cream, dude. I'm not that big of a fan of ice cream that I will just give away a supercar for ice cream. Are you crazy, dude? I can't be doing stuff like that. My boss would be so mad. Sure, but I need this car to have the same color as my ice cream truck. Sure, we can go and fix that over by the auto shop. I can actually fix that so it won't sit in kind of like uh, light blue. So take us over to the auto shop, dude. Uh-oh, I can't really drive it, so I guess I will have to drive his ice cream truck over to 
the auto shop and then we'll kind of like meet up there. I guess I will have to take his ice cream truck then because I can't really drive the car. And bro, is this car locked? Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, well, you drive your own car over to the auto shop and now somebody's stealing my car. What is going on here? Oh man, what a mess, dude. This is such a huge mess. Okay, so he's going to be following me in the ice cream truck and we're going to be taking this car over to the auto shop and I'm not really sure what happened there. I couldn't really take his ice cream truck. Uh, that was kind of weird, dude. I don't think it was locked. Maybe it was locked though. I don't really know, but let's just go to take this car over to the auto shop, get it spray painted real quick, and then it should be good to sell. And bro, what? What is going on here, bro? We got the SWAT officers. Uh-oh. Am I getting busted? I don't think so, dude. So yeah, let's go to get that parked up here, and let's go to get the spray bottle and get it fixed up. Okay, I think this is the color he meant. It's kind of like a little bit darker, uh, but it should be good. It should be good. And why is he holding his hands up? Bro, are you wanted by the cops? Stop, dude. Stop. Put your hands down. The cops are here. Be careful. Yeah, I'm not doing anything illegal, dude, so I don't have to be careful. Dude, what is this guy doing? Is he doing some illegal businesses on his side? He seems kind of afraid. Wow, nice car. Thanks. It's not really the same as your car. I kind of messed it up with the color blend, but yeah, I think it should be fine, dude. Get the idea. It's, it's blue, dude. It's literally blue. You can't really do anything more about that. So yeah, you got a blue car. Congrats. Okay, you got my ice cream truck and this money. Wow, I get to keep the ice cream truck. That's so cool. And I think there's a lot of ice cream in the ice cream truck. So that's really, really nice. And where did it go? There it is. All right, sir. That'll be $200,000. And boom, I just got paid. And bro, the ice cream truck doesn't even work. Okay, I think I'll just have to like get a ride with the police officers here. Yo, Bella, to house 14, please. I need a ride. Please, please, please. And hopefully this police officer will actually take me over to my house. I'm not really sure, dude. Maybe they're chasing down some criminals. She's actually driving around with emergency lights on. And, dude, is she not gonna drive? I don't know, dude. To house 14, bro. What are you doing? Okay, so she's actually taking me now. Nope. Okay, I don't think she's taking me. Oh, man. I thought that was gonna be a nice taxi ride. I guess not, dude. So I will just have to run all the way home and then I will have to order yet another the supercar so we can go ahead and sell and hopefully we'll uh, be able to sell that one as well but i would say it's been really really successful so far today we have sold two supercars in total one for three hundred thousand dollars and one for two hundred thousand dollars that's five hundred thousand dollars in total which is not bad dude that's a lot of money selling car house 14 and we just got yet another car here and look at this it's a lifted truck and it's looking super cool and bro what is this burning vehicle right here and somebody's trying to steal the truck yo what is going on there? Okay, so somebody literally just tried to steal the truck. I think it's so cool that people are willing to actually steal it. That's so crazy. Okay, anyways, let's go to park it back in the garage. And what is this uh, dude doing here? Yo, chill, bro. I need a new car. Okay, that'll be $140,000. You kind of crashed into it, though. So, yeah, you'll have to take the damage with it. There we go. We just got the money. And, bro, did she actually just buy that car, like, really, really quick? Yo, dude, that's so cool. We just made another $140,000. And we should probably go ahead and put out this car fire right here because she parked her little green car in my driveway burning, dude. That's like super dangerous for my house. But anyways, I would say this has been like a super successful day as a supercar salesman here in Brookhaven. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, make sure to hit the like subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.